it's springtime perfection today. We'll have more pretty perfect days coming up this week. Hi everyone, it's the Monday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. The uh, weekend a little damp here and there, but it turned out to be a pretty good second half of the day on Sunday for Mother's Day, and today was just absolutely picture perfect. Sunshine, deep blue skies, dry air. When May is good, it is really, really good. We got a couple of cool uh, viewer pictures sent to us uh, yesterday of some sky optics a circumhorizontal arc or a sun dog, depending on the exact orientation of the rainbow, quote unquote, in the sky. Um, these occur, of course, when uh, we see uh, cirrus clouds a lot of times, the refraction of sunlight on tiny little disks or plates, uh, ice plates, ice crystals, um, high up in the sky, 30 to 60,000 feet above our heads. The, that refraction causes the the uh, nice sky optics that we sometimes see like we did yesterday. All right, it was not uh, snow, or I should say it was not rain, but uh, it was snow. That was the uh, big uh, weather story seven years ago today. Remember this one back in 2016, May the 15th, we had measurable snow. It wasn't much, but technically measurable snow at the Youngstown Warren Airport. This was the second latest measurable snow on record for our area. The latest occurred in 1966 on tomorrow's date, May 16th, 1966. But on this date in 2016, we had a little bit of snow. Uh, low orbiting MODIS satellite vantage point of the region today. This is a low orbiting satellite. How low? Well, it's about 430 odd miles above our heads. That's pretty low. Um, and it takes high resolution snapshots of not only our region, but a good chunk of the globe at uh, certain times of the day. And we like to check these out on clear days. It's especially cool at this time of the year and also in the fall to compare and contrast how this looks compared to uh, sometime in the uh, in the past. Everything is, of course, greening up rapidly here in mid-May. This was today's shot. Notice one month ago, now we had a few more clouds this day, but look at the landscape. It's a lot more brown in mid-April. This is what you would expect to see, of course, as you go through spring, but it's always, always cool to check out on a day like today. I think in the next couple of weeks, this is going to become more and more of a story, especially if the trend were to continue into the summer season, as I kind of suspect it might. Uh, the lack of rain. Now, you know, we're not running long-term deficits per se. We're still above average for the year, but we're now below average for the season and below average for the month at the Youngstown Warren Airport, where, where we uh, didn't see much rain at all on Saturday. 0.77 is where we stand halfway through the month. That's a full inch below the average. We're not going to add on to that 0.77 until sometime during the upcoming weekend. For the season, uh, 8.45 puts us about a quarter of an inch behind the average. When we look at the region as a whole, wetter times in May so far south of our viewing area, especially down towards Steubenville, Wheeling, the I-70 corridor, down towards Columbus, Zanesville, Cambridge, over to Pittsburgh. But once you're uh, up into our TV market and points to the north and northeast, yeah, it's been pretty dry so far during the month of May. And look at the outlook here. This is the 8 to 14 day outlook. So uh, basically the latter portions of May heading up towards Memorial Day, not expecting a lot of rain. You know, we got one front coming our way probably over the weekend on Saturday. Other than that, I don't see many opportunities for rain through at least the early part of next week. And, and the 8 to 14 day outlook shows that uh, this drier pattern may have some staying power. Uh, again, this may become more and more of a story. We may start hearing more and more about, hey, my yard is drying out. I needed to water my garden more. Uh, I don't have to mow as often as I used to. As uh, we go into late May, early June, it's going to be interesting to keep an eye on the latest precipitation trends. Of course, we are precipitation free this evening. Beautiful evening out across the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys. The uh, rain is well off to our south and southwest. Tomorrow, kind of a sneaky severe weather day, not here, but to our south with an area of low pressure quickly scooting across uh, parts of Kentucky, southern West Virginia, Virginia. There's going to be a zone where there could be some hail producing uh, storms, perhaps even some rotation, and a couple of those storms tomorrow, a low end one or level two, slight risk of severe weather was uh, issued by the Storm Prediction Center today for parts of Kentucky, eastern Tennessee, and uh, parts of the Carolinas and into Virginia as well. This system will miss us far enough to the south that we don't have to worry about rain, but we will see some clouds from this. A canopy of clouds for a handful of hours, especially around midday on our Tuesday. It won't be as nice looking outside as was today, but then the sky will clear again later in the day. It'll be a nice evening and a clear sky then as Wednesday gets underway. And speaking of clear skies, what a recipe for a cold night we have coming up Wednesday night as high pressure drifts almost right overhead, calm wind, dry, bone dry air, and that means that, you know, we're going to be worried about some frost maybe for one more night. More on that uh, coming up. I did not mean to include this graphic. This was the forecast for this past weekend. So let's skip right past that. Here's what I wanted to show you. The uh, temperatures uh, coming off the uh, 
The uh, National Weather Service uh, gridded forecasts, uh, and this goes along with a lot of model data. Here's a look at the uh, numbers. Uh, technically speaking, you know, 35, 36 is cold enough for frost because, you know, if you've been watching these videos for a while, every now and then we talk about this, air temperatures are measured a few feet above the ground, but down lower than that, it can be a few degrees colder. So while the air temperature at eye level might be 36 degrees, it might be 32 or 33 down near the ground. So you can see some frost with these kinds of temperatures. So bottom line, you know, I, I know we gave you the all clear a couple weeks ago. It looks like we called that putt a little bit too early. Uh, we're going to have one more cold night, it looks like, Wednesday night, Thursday morning. That'll be it for the season. But if you have uh, sensitive outdoor plants, hanging baskets, as a lot of us do now that the spring has really sprung, um, you're going to want to uh, protect those Wednesday night, early on Thursday. Over the next 10 days, our averages are in the lower 70s, and we'll spend a lot of time above those averages, with the exception of a couple of days. One cool day Wednesday, no better than the uh, lower and middle 60s on Wednesday. The weekend will be fairly seasonable. Um, with uh, temperatures mostly in the lower 70s. I do think a warming trend gets underway early next week that has some staying power, and I, I do suspect we're going to have a pretty uh, warm stretch heading up towards Memorial Day. The uh, model trends over the weekend and into today have been warmer in the longer range in that lead-up to the Memorial Day holiday coming up at the end of the month. All right, that'll do it for me on Weather for Weather Geeks this evening. Thank you, as always, for watching. We'll do it again, same time, same place, on Tuesday.